Hello there, my friends. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I decided instead of doing a vlog that I would do a quick little video for you this week. Um, the topic is, what is in my hospital bag? I am 35 weeks this week, but baby bug is scheduled for eviction at 39 weeks. So we've got a little over four weeks until I get to hold this baby in my arms and we find out if it's a boy or a girl. Little man keeps insisting that it's either a cookie or a sister. I feel like it's a boy. Squatch feels like it's a boy. Everybody else is like mixed. A good handful of friends are convinced I'm having a boy too, so we'll see. We'll find out in about four weeks and we'll let you know. But anyway, so as I went to pack my bag this time, I was trying to remember what I had brought four years ago with Little Man and that was a long time ago and I don't remember my, especially with pregnancy brain, which is real, you guys, it is so bad. I have to write everything down or I forget. I mean, I woke up the other day and I was like, oh, I gotta remind, I gotta tell this to Squatch before we get out of bed. We need to pick it up at the store so he can remind me to put it on the list. I didn't tell him and 15 minutes later he's in the kitchen staring at my whiteboard, marker in hand, thinking, what was it that I needed to get? What was it that I needed to get? And I said, I forgot to tell you what I needed to put on the list and I didn't. And he was just like, you're so pretty right now. <laughs> but yeah, so I've actually watched several different videos. Um, read a couple different blogs to see what people have put in their hospital bags and I'm gonna tell you the one thing that I'm definitely not bringing that I brought last time was I brought a nice nursing friendly nightgown comfy all that jazz but uh, the entire time I was in the hospital <laughs> I was lazy and I was focused on getting as much skin on skin contact with Little Man as I could, especially since he was in the NICU for a day and a half trying to figure out blood sugar issues. Um, skin on skin contact is so important between mama and baby and daddy and baby when they're first born. So I was just there wearing those really sexy, ginormous old lady granny panties, the, uh, the mesh underwear that they give you, <laughs> and a nursing bra. Actually, it wasn't even a nursing bra, it was just a really really comfy soft bra that I had and I was able to just like pull it down and nurse whenever I wanted to so yeah like everybody's like I'm bringing the perfect nightgown it it's perfect for when you're going into labor and delivering and then afterwards it like it, you can nurse in it no I mean if I was planning on going into labor I would just wear whatever hospital gown they gave me because when you're in labor you get sweaty I, I've watched, I haven't been in labor, but I've, I've watched videos, you get sweaty, bodily fluids get everywhere. I don't want that on my nightgown or something, or whatever super fancy maternity gear that I find. That's crazy. So, I just do that. But anyway, now my bag, I just packed it up nice and quick right now for you guys. But I will tell you that some of this stuff is not going to be in there until I'm actually leaving to go to the hospital. So whether that's because I go into labor, water breaks, or it's the morning of eviction. Which I'll actually have this packed the night before. The only thing I'll have to put in the morning will be my glasses case. Um, but yeah, some of these things will stay out, but whatever, you know. So number one, toothbrush and tooth powder. I'm a big fan of tooth powder. I don't mind toothpaste, but tooth powder has become, it's just so easy and you don't have to deal with squeezing it, like trying to get every last little bit of toothpaste out of the tube. So tooth powder, toothpaste, tooth powder and toothbrush. Oh, baby brain. I tell you guys, it's so real. So real. On the other side over here, I got my handy dandy vitamins and I'm a nerd. So this one is all tablets. And pills. This is for capsules. Because <laughs> when you mix them together, like your pills get a little icky after a couple of days of sitting in there with the capsules. So, yeah. And the night 
and I will be making sure that I don't have the B6 Immunisum in there starting the day that I that Bug is scheduled for eviction. There's no need to bring that because I won't be dealing with morning sickness anymore. So, vitamins. Make sure that any medications that you're on, any vitamins you're taking, that you bring them with you to the hospital because you should continue taking those every day, even if you're not at home. If you're at the hospital, you want to make sure that you're getting what you need. Glasses, cleaning cloth. This comes with me everywhere, so I mean, I've always got it. This baggie has extra hair ties, because, oh my gosh, just this one bit of hair just apparently did not want to go into the braid today. We just got back from the splash pad too, so it could have fallen out while I was out there. But extra hair ties, because they can be quite versatile and quite useful. I will say, as I was packing this, I realized I've got a bunch of, like, knives and flashlights and first aid stuff in here, so that all came out, because... I'm not going to need that stuff at the hospital. But I also have, this is my travel soap. I haven't, I haven't actually used it yet, but I got it. Showers are good. Last time I didn't shower for like, until day four that I was in the hospital, I was, yeah. Well, because day two, little man went into the NICU. And then day three, well, the night, night two and day three, I was dealing with super high blood pressure. And I just didn't get out of bed. So it was not needed. Travel sized shampoo and conditioner. Out of here, Mama's what, almost done. What is going on? I'm making a video. Q tips. Mama loves Q tips. And my ears drain like crazy, so I have to Q tip at least once, every, like once every morning. Little man, out. I'll be out in two more no, minutes. This is very important to have, you guys. Because hospitals can be very dry, and you want to make sure that you're not getting cracked lips. And I'm not a super big chapstick person as it is, but I remember last time I was in the hospital, oh god, I was going through the Carmex like crazy. I'll have a different debit card by then. But debit card, driver's license. Um, my insurance cards will be in there. I forgot to put them in there when I was packing this up, but whatever. Dry shampoo. If I don't take a shower, I'll at least have some decent looking hair, right? You know? Gotta do what you gotta do. And this is a three-day bag, so I don't do diaper bags. I just got a three-day bag for little man that he's been using. I got this one before I went to LFTN, and it's now gonna be my and Bugs bag for the next, like, two years. Okay. Secret. Packing cubes are your friend, because... They just are. This is really going to be the majority of what I'm taking is in this little packing cube. This super nice brush, it it can tr it can be treated like a comb or a brush. So I can get my hair done after I take my shower because I will make sure I shower. Glasses case. You want to just throw your glasses on the counter on the table? I have to count how many I have here, but I've got a bunch of nursing pads because when your milk comes in, it is not controlled. And the last thing that you want is to be walking around with these big wet spots <laughs> from it coming in and just leaking out, and nobody wants that. I have a dress in here right now for showing. I don't know if this is the dress it's going to be, but whatever I wear to the hospital is what I'm going to be wearing home. So if it's this dress, it might be this dress. This is the one I wore for Little Man. I may wear it again. I don't know. It all depends on what mood I'm feeling that morning when I get up at 5 in the morning to be at the hospital by 6 because we're scheduled at 8 in the morning for eviction. And then I have two bras here. So this is actually the bra that I wore the entire time I was in the hospital last time. It's a Cacique bra. I'd gotten it at Lane Bryant strapless, you know, or not strapless, wireless, just super soft and super comfy because the one thing that a lot of women don't realize is as they're pregnant, their ribs expand. So if you're naturally a smaller, like chest band size, those bras aren't going to fit, especially not right after you have the baby. And then this is actually a nursing bra that I had. 
and the underwire came out, so I turned it into a nice wireless nursing bra because nobody wants to be getting stuck with underwire while they are nursing and they are in the hospital because that's just not cool, guys. So yeah, so I will be wearing those two bras while I'm in hospital and I've got the nursing pads. This is really the extent of it. I also have in here, for my comfort, this is my baby blankie that my grandma made me um, before I was born. <laughs> so it came with me to hospital for a little minute. It's coming for bug. And I have a towel. Showers, you know. The day that we go in, I will... Oh, I just found another flashlight. Yay, flashlights. Um, the day that we go in, I will actually wear my moccasins to the hospital and that's what I'll wear when I'm walking around um, when you go into the OR for baby eviction you, you get those special little hospital socks with the grippies on the bottom and I'll wear those like while I'm in the bed because my feet get cold but I don't like to sleep in them so they'll come off like as soon as I can move my legs again Epidurals are amazing though because they knock like if you get a good anesthet anesthetician, yeah, anesthetician, anesthesiologist. That's the word I was missing. The anesthesiologist with estish, est the estheticians, whatever they're called. Um, yeah, like you don't feel a thing if they do their job right. So in here, this is baby stuff. So this was a blankie that my grandma made when I was my mother was pregnant with me. Um, it comes with a little bonnet, cutie pie little bonnet, and these itty bitty little white slippers. But I actually made these ones for a little man the night before I had them. They're not the exact same light green, but I've got them. And I don't know, so I, I have these in this bag just for now. I need to find out if the hospital actually has, um, baby photographers that come in because the last hospital that... I was at, they did. I don't know if they do that up here. And then I have a little blanket. And it says, Welcome to the world. It's really cute. And then this is actually the outfit. So this is a zero to three month outfit. Little man ended up needing to be wearing newborn size stuff. So when he went home in this same outfit, he was so freaking tiny and swimming in it. It was the funniest thing. I also have the sleeper. And by the way, you guys, the sleepers that are just like the holes at the bottom with a little bit of elastic are the best things you could ever get. So I have these just because I don't know what the weather's going to be like. When I hit Little Man, it was cold and rainy in the middle of May. So having something long-sleeved in that extra blanket in the baby hat. We're, we're good to have. Now, I have no idea what the weather's going to be in four weeks, but the other option that I have to bring Bug home in, this is an... Well, this isn't the six months, but I, I think it's more of a newborn size because it looks smaller than that. These are the best things ever with the little snaps and everything. Little Man lived in these types of shirts the first couple months with a pair of shorts and a bit of baby shorts. And itty bitty baby socks. Look how tiny these things are. I mean, like they're smaller than my finger. So tiny. And that'll just be, Bug will come home in one of those. I don't know what. I'll find out next month. But last time we brought a DVD. We brought a couple other things. Like, um, crossword puzzle books. The whole time I just, I held Little Man. Well, I'm almost done, big guy. The other time I just held little man and slept. And that was about it. So I didn't use half the stuff that I had in my bag. I mean, the majority of my bag is taken up by my blankie and um, my towel. So, yeah. It's... It's amazing when you think about it because 
I always laugh when I look at all these different videos because people are like, well, I'm bringing my makeup and my hair dryer so I can get these really amazing first pictures with the baby. And I got my whole moisturizing kit. I don't moisturize. <laughs> I haven't, but I haven't used lotion in years because I just use uh, Castile soap. And, like, my natural body oils have regulated, so there's no need for me to have any of that stuff. It's amazing. I don't wear makeup anyway, so I wouldn't bring makeup. <laughs> um, yeah, the custom... Not necessarily custom, but the, uh, the super fancy labor and delivery gear with the matching swaddle and crap for the baby... You guys, it's such a waste. You're not actually going to use it. You're going to... If if you're getting ready to have a baby and you've never had one before and you're packing your bag, keep it simple, stupid. You know, you can throw the granny panties in there if you want. I know some people are like, I have a little pack of Depends and I'll wear those. I didn't wear the Depends, like I said. I wore those super sexy granny panty mesh undies. They were so dang comfortable, you guys. <laughs> I would pretend to be like... I wonder if I could order these and just wear them all the time. But then I figured Squatch would not be very happy with that. So I didn't. Um, the one thing that I do need to get that I don't have right now are the big, super, again, super sexy, super absorbent pads. Because even with a C-section, you're bleeding down there. And you're going to go through a lot of those pads. And I don't have it in here, but I know I'll get one at the hospital. I'll get a peri bottle at the hospital. I actually have... I have the one from Little Man, which is still in a bin somewhere in the basement that I haven't found yet. And then I have two more, actually, that I bought during the pandemic when everybody was free started freaking out. I can't find toilet paper. I was like, Perry Bottle. It's your own portable bidet. So I've got those just because never knew when I needed them. And they do a really good job just, like, rinsing everything out down there. But, yeah, you'll, you'll get a Perry Bottle at the hospital. And if you're not sure, too, like, most hospitals will provide you with the soap, the hair stuff for taking your shower, toothbrush, toothpaste. You can check with that. Check with the hospital to see what they have, just so you're not doubling up on it. I just am super picky and preferential about what I use, so I'm bringing my own. <sighs> and yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informational for you. And I don't know when I'll get another video in, but... I'll try to get something before Bug gets here. We got four more weeks, ish. Yeah, it's a little, little more than four weeks because we're right at we're I'm right at the end of 34 weeks right now. So, yay! Have a great day, guys, and we will chit chat later. What happens? Ha! As I was putting my stuff away, I realized I forgot phone charger. No, how so this one plugs into the wall. Oh, somebody found my uh, headlamp light. There we go. And my anchor. So this will be more for Squatch and I'll keep the super long cord for me. But this way he'll make sure that he can charge his phone while he's in the hospital too. So uh, don't forget your phone chargers. Oh, do not touch that knife, mister. That's a very sharp knife. Um, it is nice because our hospital is a two minute drive from home. So Squatch will be going back and forth, back and forth. We'll be sleeping here at home at night in our big comfy bed versus the craptastic stuff that they have at the hospital because nobody wants to sleep on on those. And it'll be a little bit more comfort and normalcy for little man to have him home. So, yay! And now we're going to try to say goodbye again.